Tunaishi huku na watoto wangu. Watoto wangu nimezalia huku, nimelelea huku. Na tangu niamie kwa hii plot hakuna maji. Hii tabu hata tunashindangwa, tabu yenyewe ni ya nini ama tungwe tutupe na huko. Juu hakuna maji, tunaendea maji kwa mto. Mara hiyo maji, saa zingine ndio tuna hiyo maji ndio tunaonga nayo, tunakunywa, tunapika nayo. Saa zingine hata watoto wanashindwa wakona shida ya tumbo. Tunaumwa na tumbo. Tunaenda osi. Hata saa zingine mtu anasema hakuna haja kuenda osi. Wacha tu tu survive. Juu hakuna otherwise. Hii ndio maji yetu. Tuni comes once in a month, so we face the same same challenges, the same same issue of the bathroom, scarcity of water. I've been living here now for three years, but the main issue that we are facing now is scarcity of water. So here, water comes only once in a month, so I have to have a, a plan B, which is the borehole. And the bowl water is not safe for drink, so I just use it for cleaning, washings, and other things. Uh, because sparkling and packed waters are very high, which I cannot afford. Um, so basically this machine is called uh, an atmospheric water generator um, and it can produce up to 500 liters of water but sometimes if the humidity is higher than 60 percent relative humidity it can produce all the way to 700 liters of water um, but basically this system used dehumidification uh, processes uh, so basically we condense the water vapor in the atmosphere So in this device we have four major components. So we have the fans, 
which basically bring in air and then we have the condensation bit which is inclusive of uh, you know the refrigerant components the condensing coils and then we have now the filtration system which we include as a an added component um, but that depends on the contaminants that we we may have uh, for example here in Kibera we may have um, contaminants that is related to sewage uh, because we have open sewage here um, so we may add a filtration system to remove that so that is very dependent on the place um, and then we have now the collecting tank <laughs> Previously, before we received the machine, we had an issue with our school hygiene. We used to like uh, to wash our toilets uh, once per week, and the same same water of the same same container that we used to fetch water with uh, from the nearby cellars are the same same water that we were, our children used to, to drink. And we had a lot of uh, cases on a daily basis. Uh, teacher, I have my problem, I have a stomach ache and all that. But today, as we speak, uh, I'm very happy to say that our toilets are clean. Uh, the machine can produce water that we can use to wash toilets. The same, same clean water our children are able to take. Even us as teachers, we are comfortable in school because we have fresh water to, to drink. equipments and machines that are able to suck water from the atmosphere as long as the machine is connected on a power source. And then those water can then be used for household consumption. These innovations have not been scaled up due to, of course, lack of funding, and quite a number of them are expensive, so that we can get good enough water, not only for household consumption, but also for irrigation and for livestock consumption. <laughs>